Hello, I'm James. And I'm Colin. And I'm Dave. Who the hell's hell Dave? So welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Retro. Thanks for joining us. Of course, we do know who Dave is. Yeah, we know who Dave is really, and it's over to Dave to tell you why he's here. Okay, lads, um, what I would like to do is challenge you to play Namco Museum games on a Dreamcast, see who comes on top. Good luck. Right, so I'm up for that. You up for that? Yeah. A bit uh, of Namco Museum on the Dreamcast. I think that's uh, six games in all. Can't get more retro than Namco Museum. No. So I think that's, um, if I'm right, so that's Pac Man, Miss Pac Man, Galaga, Galaxian, yeah. Pole Position, and Dig Dug, I think. Yeah. Dig Dug, a game I've not played. No, I'm not sure much about that. Fun. Yeah. So let's get the Dreamcast set up, the game loaded up, and get playing. So the first game we're playing is Pac-Man and uh, I'm up first. Let's just get this started. And here we go, where's my ugly mugs, just so you know that it's uh, my run. So here we go. I always find it best to get the, the, the pills down the bottom first. That was my method. Not necessarily the right method. Yeah, we've done this without any looking up uh, Pac-Man techniques or anything like that. So if you're a Pac-Man expert, you might be shouting at the telly. Shouting at how bad I am. I wasn't particularly good at this back in the day, but it wasn't too bad. This joypad seems to be a bit dodgy, if you ask me. Yeah, um... Yes. <laughs> as they always say, a bad workman blames his tools, so maybe a bad gamer blames his tools as well. Yes, got the cherry. Get in. I think of a joke to say there, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> going to keep this clean. So we're getting down to just a few. Oh, oh that was a mistake. That was a bit of a stupid thing to do there. They've all got names, haven't they, the ghosts? They have, but I can never remember them. Yeah, so if you know them... <laughs> put a comment. Put them in the comments. We need more comments. We're almost going to be starting to beg for comments and subscriptions, so... If I was you, I'd start putting comments and subscribing, just so that you don't have to put us through that. Yeah. The misery, you don't have to put it with us begging. You don't want to see that. No, it's going to... I'll let them. <laughs> So am I going to complain? I just go, where am I going? I've just gone back down there, shouldn't I? I didn't, I didn't see those two down there. Ooh, two to go. Uh, uh, go Pac-Man, go, go. Oh, oh they've done you over. They have. So that's the end of my run. Okay, my turn. Over to you. So a grand total of 3,080 to beat. Okay, we'll see how we get on. I've did uh, a bit of research. I've got some Pac-Man facts for you now. Um, you probably you might know some of these. The um, so the, the Pac-Man oh. himself, oh, got straight away, is um, the design comes from a, a pizza with a slice missing. Um, that's quite commonly known. By the power of Google, I've now got the names of the ghosts: Blinky, okay. Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. Yeah, that's good to know. All right, that's one down. Oh, he's doing well. Pac-Man is also known as the um, biggest coin-up arcade game of all time. It's the most profitable. Looking like you're going to beat me already quite easily. Oh, ah. and you bumped straight into Clyde. Starting to pose now, I know the names of it. That's it. <laughs> The, um, the arcade version of Pac-Man has got the highest score possible of um, 3,333,360 but only 10 people in the world have achieved that. 
And as you continue to reel off the facts, you're still beating me really easy. <laughs> Just thrashing my school and making me look stupid. Man. But anyone who's a regular viewer will know that James usually beats me on these sort of games. <laughs> it's the playing them, not the winning kids, that's what I say. Yeah. Eat some more fruit. Uh oh. Who's good for that? Oh. They've done you. Oh, oh. Whoa, how'd you get out of that? <laughs> that was jammy. <laughs> I yes. just did not believe that. Staying in there, just about. Oh. Oh. 5,700. So, round one to you. End of round, round one, one, and the score is Colin Neal, James, James one. one. What? So, game two is Miss Pac Man, as I always said. Yep, oh, no, no. Miss Pac Man. Ms. This Pac -Man. came out Ms. two Pac -Man. years after Pac Man. Alright. And uh, we're going to play some now. So, uh,. This is obviously to uh, attract the females to the genre. That's it, she's got a bow in her hair. And the sound's a little bit different, if I remember. This was um, by Midway, I think, rather than Namco. Or is it on Namco's greatest hits? That's a good question. <laughs> there must have been a Namco version, I suppose. Yeah, they must have bought it after. So, again, going with the same tactic as I used in Pac Man, I'm trying to do the bottom half first. Maybe. Wasted that. Originally, this was going to be called Puck Man instead of Pac Man, or Must Pac Man, but they changed the name because they were worried people would deface the cabinets. Can you guess what it would be instead of Puck Man? I think I can hazard a guess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you know what it should be. I'm doing just as terribly in this one as I was the first one. It looks a bit better to look at, what do you think? Yeah, it is a little, little bit better to look at. Doesn't make it, doesn't make it me play it any better, does it? <laughs> go on, go on. Oh, but I've completed yeah. the level. So on to the next one, it looks exactly the same as the, the last one. <laughs> <clears throat> and there were later versions of Pac-Man where the levels changed or the, the, the maze changed the design a little bit. Go on, go on. Still reckon this joypad's playing that. <laughs> but that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Oh, there's moving fruit, moving strawberry yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's one change. Yeah, the fruit moving. So last life. It's not going to be a particularly high school for you to try and beat again here. Try and make this life last as long as I can. So there's four different mazes on this version of Pac-Man. Compared to the other, yeah. And the spaces between the walls have been filled in. You can see that on the screen. And the fruits appear randomly. Ooh, oh, unlucky. So 6,490 to beat. Okay, now my turn uh, for a bit of Must Pac Man with the bow in her hair. So, according to Wikipedia, the source of all our. Uh, no, it's not. Um, <laughs> information. There's a bug when you get to round 256. It's the part of the code that draws the fruit. And there's a bug in the uh, the routine and you can get past the round. Someone might have made something to get around it with emulation, but you've got to be pretty good to reach 256. Well, I meet round two. <laughs> I'll definitely never get that far. Turn a bit cautiously. Here we go. Look at that score to beat. You're half, nearly halfway there already. 
I think I much um, prefer this over the original, but I suppose this is more fun, but for the uh, original feel of Pac-Man, you've got to play the first one. As we didn't know much about the ghosts, are the ghosts called the same in this as they are in mm, That's a good question. Normal. I don't know. And they used to have Pac-Man on a little, little handheld, which I uh, recently bought. Oh, brilliant. He bought it again. Bought it again off of eBay. Uh, brings back lots of nostalgic memories. Oh, not far now. Oh. Still got two lives left though, so you're doing well. Can I get to round two? Oh. Yep. Come on. That's where you want them. Yeah. Done it. Just over 2,000 to go before you've beaten me again. You've still got two lives left. You're looking good. Yeah. No Pac-Man expert, but we're doing all right. Just watching oh, this no. go, sir, but he came back to life just as... Unlucky. Just as you were about to eat him. I'm just going to try and get that score now. Oh, get the strawberry. No. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, it's 300 odd to go. Oh. oh, one life left. This could be close. Oh dear. Hold on to your hats. This is going to be a close one. That's it. <laughs> That's if there's anyone still watching, probably bored of Pac-Man by now. It's not many games that you can swallow pills in. <laughs> ah, and there goes the yeah. high school. There we go. Whee! Oh, he's getting chased down now. Just Where were you, Ghost? Where were team. you? Yeah. Oh. I keep complaining That's about it. this joy pad, but you seem to be doing all right. <laughs> One more, yes. Just to rub it in. Oh, there's just two. Oh, oh got me. Oh, we're nearly on to round three. So, another round to you. So, it's end round two, and the scores on the board are Colin now, James, and two. Wow! Right, it's time to move away from Pac Man now with a good old shoot 'em up, Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher, one of my favourites, and Galaxian after that. Uh, some of you may have seen the video we made on uh, Gallagher and Galaxian. If you haven't, we'll put a link at the end of the video and in the... Uh, in the description. In the description, that's the word, that's what I was looking for. Um, and uh, so you can watch that, it's all on the history of Gallagher and Galaxian. And the many different versions that have been made. So come on, Kyle, you've got to win this one. Got to get back into this, otherwise... Uh, it's going to start to get a bit boring if you're just winning all these. <laughs> so was this one of the first arcade games you ever played? Uh, yeah, I think that sort of Space Invaders, that type of thing. Because I can remember playing this on a cocktail cabinet. Oh yeah. yeah. Probably in a chippy. <laughs> so it's far too young for pubs. Just dodged in. And the yeah, yes. Good shot. Certainly more fun than Space Invaders, if you ask me. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Yeah. Space Invaders just a bit. You know, just everything just going from side to side. And the way everything dances around on this is good. Isn't it? Yeah, I do like to get an idea. I always like the way this is very these these games, no matter what platform you're playing on, they're normally very colourful. Yeah, the explosions and the sky. Yeah. It's great. I think you're a bit scared of that then, <laughs> but in, mm, does it give you a 
anything, any extras? Or is it just, is it just to kill you? I can't remember either. Next time it comes up, it's up to you if you want to take the risk. Sometimes I seem to be hiding a bit on this left hand side here. But be careful when you're playing for high scores. Oh, does, they do like getting close. Looks just like a wasp. Okay, bonus time. Yeah. <laughs> no, you missed all of those. I was going some more. Then. I think on the ray tracer it causes galactic dancing. On the yeah, there's a little uh, loader game in there. Yeah. You could play on that. I'm blaming this joy pad again because the button doesn't seem to fire quick enough for my liking. But maybe it's a game, I'm not sure. It's 22. Um, bonus. Come on, bring on the next round. It's going to get harder now. Whoa! Oh, Ooh. lucky. Okay, last life. No pressure. You can really concentrate and not... Oh. Not so too much now. Always reminds me of a ladybird, this one. Takes a couple of hits, Sunny. Oh. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Didn't think you'd get any closer to it in the damn thing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Done. Stage five. Oh, Surprising that was so myself. close. Surprising myself. I know what I'm doing. That was close, actually. So you haven't got Namco Museum yet, you should pick it up, it's on loads of different formats. And it'll be very cheap. Yeah, it's a good game to have in the collection, with lots yeah. of classics. Even if you've got, you've had a few beers and you want to put something on that's not too challenging, this is perfect. It's a good score for you to beat this time, I'm pretty sure of that. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> wow, I didn't die then, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there we go, round, round six. Stage six, yeah. Of course, you got an extra life, didn't you? Yes, thank God for the extra life. Uh, means I can bump this score up just a little bit more. Yeah, you might be entering your name on this one. Nowhere to go. So twenty six thousand one hundred and ten to beat. Right here we go. Can we do as well? It's 
for some reason, I don't know why, it hasn't recorded the high score on this. As you can see, it hasn't carried over. I don't know whether that's a fault of the game or... No, because we haven't restarted it. We're <coughs> just playing on. I don't know why I said it was now. Is it 26,910 or something like that, like I said? Yeah, we've got it on video so we can check in just a second. I'm just going to play the best I can and hope it's above your score. No special tactics on this thing. No, nope. hammer the fire button. We're not we're not using special pads here. This is oh Ooh. dear. Yeah, yeah we're just is... using the usual Dreamcast uh, pads. Which uh, they, were, they weren't too bad. The, the Dreamcast pads, you know, but big. But yeah. so is the N64. But yeah. And of course, you can put the VR unit into these to save your games and. Uh, they used to, uh, <coughs> used to be able to sort of show little pictures and things. I remember playing Resident Evil and showed you your heartbeat. Yeah, it was like, beat, wouldn't it, as yeah. well? And you so, could, had room for a rumble pack as well on some games. So you could get your memory card and your rumble pack in. Yeah, for so anyone who knows Dreamcast. Yeah, the Dreamcast controls me, think about it, quite clever. Right, last life. I think I'm in mean, with a good chance of winning. Yeah, this my one. score is rubbish so far. So I did. I always like the old-fashioned shooters like this. And, uh, there didn't seem to be enough of them. You had Space Invaders, Galaga, and Galaxia, and that's really the only. Yeah. The main sort of ones. They're all just I suppose they're just all clones of each other anyway, but. And you got the later consoles, 1942 and things like that, were a lot of fun. Side so scrollers, there was a few of them, R type. Oh, yeah, R type, that's, yeah, that's one of my favourites as well. I like that. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. oh dear. So I don't think we need to check the score. I think we know who won that one. Yes, I got one back. Nice one. Well, there's my stats. Thank God Thank that's round three out of the wave, and the scores at the end of that round are Colin one, 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 James, James two. two. Yeah! Don't forget to join us next week as James and Colin play Galaxian, Pole Position, and finally Dig Dug to see who becomes the Nanco Museum Champion. Until then, keep it retro! So guys, thanks for watching today's video, hope you enjoyed it, uh, if you did please like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget uh, this is a two-parter so we'll be back next week with uh, part two uh, where I'll see whether I can bring it back from 2-1 down. Always going to be losing to James for some reason, we'll have to uh, sort that out sooner or later. But uh, as we also mentioned in the video, we've done a little Galaxian Gallagher history video. Uh, which you can see playing on the screen now so if you'd like to watch that click on that and you'll be taken off to watch that in the meantime keep it retro and we'll see you soon